In my last video I showed you how to craft a letter strop like this. On this strop you can adjust the needed stropping angle by turning in or out the threaded rod. This allows you to hold the knife horizontally during the stropping process. If you have a reference flat where you can zero your knife, it's quite easy to hold the knife in a range of plus minus 3 degrees. If you have a normal strop like this, which lies flat on the table surface, you have to find the right angle freehand and this is much more difficult. In the last video I got many comments that it would be fantastic if I would invent a, such a, an adjustable jig for a sharpening stone or a diamond plate. Such a jig would simplify the difficulty to hold the right angle during the sharpening process. And you know what? Here it is! In this video I will show you how you can craft such a jig for far under 5 bucks in 20 minutes. So stay tuned if this sounds interesting for you. Hello YouTube! Welcome to another Swiss Army Knife tip and trick video. So, this video is not only interesting for Swiss Army Knife users, this video is also interesting for outdoor knife users or for kitchen knife users. This video is for those who are not 100% happy with the cutting performance of their knives if they resharpen their knives freehand on a grinding stone or on a diamond plate. Often it's just a little detail who makes the difference. That's why I recommend try out this sharpening stone or this diamond plate hurler. This can make the difference. The material you need to craft this device is 70 cm threaded rod. I take M8, but you can take whatever you want. 1 meter M8 costs 250 in my hardware store. You need three matching nuts, three matching washers, four little wood screws and if you have something like a wooden ball or a plastic ball for the end of this screw would be nice but this is not necessary. And of course you need also half a meter of a wooden sled. And now I would say let's start with the project. The first step is to saw off four pieces from the wooden sled. I choose a length of 8 cm for each piece. Now I number them from 1 to 4. After that I draw in two hole centers on each piece. These two hole centers have a distance from 6 cm to each other. On piece number 1 I drill two holes with a diameter of 7 mm after them I cut two M8 threads. On piece number two I drill two 8mm holes. And on piece number 3 I drill two 8.5mm holes. If you don't have an 8.5mm drill, take an 8mm drill, make the two holes and enlarge them a little with a round file. Now I cut the slat piece with the number 4 lengthwise with the pencil and quarters. These two quarters will become the clamping jaws. That means this one and this one. To temporarily fix them on piece number one and piece number three, I take a little bit double sided adhesive tape.
Now I attach them with two little wood screw each. Next step is on the center of the jaw, somewhere here, of the piece number three, I cut a seven millimeter hole and after I cut an M8. Now take the threaded rod and cut away two pieces of 28 cm and one piece of 13 cm. Important is to grind the chamfer on both sides of the rods. Now turn the long threaded rod into the piece with the number one and the short threaded rod into the piece with the number three. Next step is to place the number two piece on the rod. After that I place the number three piece on the rod. Now I screw the nuts onto the threaded rod. If you have a wooden or a plastic ball, you can attach it now on the short rod. In addition, I recommend to craft a reference area. This reference flat you can do with the remaining two quarters and another piece of this slat. Just make it together however you want. So, after glue these pieces together, my reference flat looks like this. And now I can start with uh, sharpening a knife. If you don't know how you can measure out the exact grinding angle of your knife, I showed you in this video how you can craft such a goniometer in three different versions. So first step is to adjust the perfect angle. For that you can need such a projector like this. I take a digital one. So my friends, that's it for today. I hope you like this sharpening trick as I do. Please give me a feedback. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you in one or two weeks. Ciao.